When I finished my first film, uh, I was back in China, and a friend of mine approached me to uh, for this job to basically adapt a documentary to a uh, to a TV movie for these uh, two very famous actors, and that was a documentary based on sort of the daily life of a Sichuan opera troupe, and it's the opera troupe that you see in the film. So. When I went to visit them um, the first time, you know, it was kind of a a moment of um, just a like a hit, you know, because the documentary was about five six years old. So I didn't really think that they were still living in this way, and yet they were still holding on, you know, because the feeling of it was that they were going about to end this this particular craft any any day now. So. Um, and it was just the people, like, you know, just the, the fact, like, the first night we were there, we all got, you know, we ate, and we all got a little drunk, and then they put us all in makeup, you know, so it was kind of a lot of fun, so I thought, I mean, I, the way I look at making a film is, like, can I, you know, can I be here for a year, two years, and, and can I, uh, are these the kind of people that I want to have an adventure with, so I just knew that at that moment that the film would be a, a more special movie if it was made with them than actors from Shanghai or Beijing. So um, I gave the project back uh, after I finished the script. And uh, when they didn't do anything with the project for about, you know, in the six, seven months, I asked for the, uh, the rights back. And I knew that at that moment, because of the situation in the Chinese uh, film industry, that I would never be able to get money for, you know, proper money um, from financiers to make a film if I'm using non-professional actors. So I started looking overseas and, um, and eventually, you know, little by little, that's how we sort of got uh, to make this movie.